Hello and welcome to a fun video. Today I have penny rolls I got from my coin shop. Um, these are the overstock rolls and uh, yeah, they let me get them. So I uh, appreciate that. And there's some good fun stuff in here. Um, I've got 12 rolls. So in this hunt, I'm gonna start off with six. We're gonna see how things go. If, uh, if those go pretty quickly, I'll do the other six. But if uh, we're looking through these and, and there's lots of things going on, then I might split this into two parts. So this might be part one. If it is, stay tuned for part two. So let me get these out of the way here. And uh, let's crack into six of these and see what we got. Intro, take 473. Cue music. <laughs> coins yeah. all right awesome now pick them up i'm not rich okay so what we're going to do is i usually do this is i pour out um two or three rolls at a time we'll do two rolls at a time and then uh, just kind of take a quick glance through them and see if there's anything that stands out and then i'll hunt through them off camera and see what we got going on here. Now, these could just be random circulated pennies. They could be stuff that came out of collections, albums. These look pretty red. They don't look in the best shapes in this roll, but uh, these are fairly red. They got some spots. This does look like a, just a random collection of um, maybe a uh, Date dated set of memorials. Oh, there's a bunch of 2006s in here, but uh, yeah, it looks like all memorials uh, from 90s and 2000s. What I'm seeing, nothing standing out, no proofs or anything. Like I said, I was just gonna quickly dump these and uh, take a quick look. So I will end up going through those, see if there's anything good in those or not for um, album or keep if, and uh, check for areas of varieties. But uh, let's go ahead and crack a second roll here and see if there's anything going on in this second roll. And then we'll go from there. Oh, there is some brown sense in this one. So let's see, make sure that roll is empty. So looks like some more 2000s since there, the 1980s. Um, these look kind of um, average circulation, still red, but with some uh, average type of circulation, some spots, um, nothing fancy or major. Um, some regular old brown scents. All so far are memorials. There's a 95 out of Denver. We'll check that for double dies. And yeah, these this two rolls look like just a regular old uh, scents. So nothing fancy in these first two rolls that are standing out. So let me uh, search through these. And uh, I'll be right back and let you know if there's any airs, varieties, or anything really cool in here that I did not see. All right, nothing in that roll. So let's go ahead and dump out to my rolls and see if there's anything interesting in these two. Let's see. Let's see, let's see what we got in here. There we go. Um, oh, it looks like another, just a circulator roll of coins here. Um, See, 72, 1960, 1959. Just kind of quickly looking through here, 1959, 1964. Nothing really standing out. There's some 60 Denvers there to get check for some doubled mint marks there. But let's go ahead and dump out another roll and see what's in this one. All right. Let's see what is in this one. It's another roll of uh, nicer red stuff, uh, memorials. 
I don't know if there's anything really album worthy here. I mean, see, some of these are a little bit nicer than you usually find in circulation. Lots of 2006s. Uh, Last Rolls had a lot of 2006s in them. So I was checking for the double dot obverse on those. Um, there's a 92. We'll check that for. Um, check the 92 for the wide AM. But uh, otherwise, let's me get through these and see what we got going on here. The 72, we'll check that for the double dot obverse as well. All right, let me get through these and then we'll crack the next two rolls. And if it's the same type of stuff, then we might be opening all six of these rolls. Okay, those two rolls were um, just uh, normal rolls. Um, there was plenty of things to look for. There was a bunch of 72s. Uh, so I was checking for the DDO there and then a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of 1959s. I guess someone was saving a bunch of 1959s. But uh, I don't save those unless they're like decent quality because you know otherwise I'd have stacks and stacks of them so this roll 60s and 70s is what I'm seeing um, let's see 70 out of Denver 65 this all looks like 60s and 70s and all looks kind of circulated and, and stuff so We'll get that roll out of the way. Let's open another roll here. So these rolls just might be just uh, some random circulated rolls of coins that either someone had or, or you know, just a, uh, hey, we selling a bunch of coins. Here's the uh, coins from my uh, cookie jar that I've sat on for a while and uh they pulled out all the wheats and just rolled up the rest all right looks like more memorials um i have found a random wheat scent in these rolls before from the uh coin shop got some uh plated coins from them as well so I was hoping to find at least some of that stuff, a couple of uh, circulated uh, proofs and what have you. All those are all memorials, it looks like, and uh, all look circulated. So let me get through these and then uh, we'll move on to the next two rolls. Okay, so I have an interesting find out of those last two rolls here. This is a Think a 1992, but if you look around, it's kind of hard to see because of how um, dirty the coin is. But it is a grease struck through coin. It's missing the L, mostly most of the I there. Um, a little bit of trust is very, very weak. The last number in the date is missing. The one is a little weak as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, the back looks normal. But uh, I th like I said, I think that's a 92. But uh, I don't know if I could tilt it that way, you might be able to see where the lettering of details are missing a little bit. But yeah, that's a, that's a neat little find out of there. We're going to keep going though. Um, not much on the find so far. Uh, like I said, these are probably just, uh, these rolls may just be regular circulated scents. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I would like to find something uh, nice for the album, but <laughs> you can't always get what you want. And uh, we'll see how things go in these next rolls. Maybe I'll just go ahead and top out three rolls here. Um, looking at this roll, not seeing anything stand out. Um, looks like more just memorial sense. Looks mostly circulated as well, so... Um, yep, nothing really standing out on that one, so I'm going to slide that out of the way. I'm going to crack into another one here. See what we got going on here. Um, these coin shop rolls, I have gotten some really cool stuff out of some of the rolls, but then some of the other rolls have just been regular coins, so we shall see 
if any of these rolls have anything other than circulated coins here or anything special. Looks like a lot of 60s here. There's some 59s. There's a 70, some 70s. So I will definitely check those. There's a 70s right there. But this looks like 60s and 70s mostly. Yep, so that looks like all 60s and 70s and all pretty circulated. Um, let's get that roll out of the way. Let's go ahead and uh, crack the next roll here. You know what? Unless I find something that stand out interesting, let's just go ahead and crack all the rolls. There's six more. Let's just go ahead and cut them all out. I'll just have a pile of pennies to go through. Nothing wrong with that, huh? <laughs> Um, 2006, 2007, looks like more 2006, 2007s, and some circulated, uh, memorial scents. All memorials. Um, I have found a couple of, uh, 2008s in some of these rolls. And then a 2011 in one of them. But yeah, more circulated memorial scents. So let's go ahead and get these. Over here, I'm gonna have to push that way because my um <laughs> my mat here is filling up. Let's go ahead and pop out the next roll. Hopefully, you can see these okay. Um, not zoomed so far in on them, but I'm zoomed in just a little bit. 70s, 70s. There's some 60s. Um, 70s. 60s and 70s, look like more 60s and 70s. Um, yep, 60s and 70s. So yeah, that's what that roll looks like there, 60s and 70s. All right, let's get those over here to the side and let's open another roll. <laughs> okay, I can't get into this side, so where's my handy dandy toothpick? I mean, high-tech pointer. <laughs> oh, there we go. And I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say I'm probably going to find the same thing in the last couple rolls here. Yep, looks all like, this looks like 70s and 80s, 2000s, another um, circulated memorial roll. So I'm going to expect the same thing out of this roll. Maybe there'll be some uh, airs varieties on some of these, like that uh, 19, uh, 2019 roll there. Uh, we shall see. Are these the more another roll of the more redder scents? Yeah, looks like more of a redder scent, like the first uh, roll was, and a few other rolls, 2006s. Um, 2007s, early 2000s, some 90s, but yeah, there's the one 2010, one set. Um, yeah, so nothing standing out, nothing super fancy. Um, let me just move that way up there so I don't get it mixed in with these. And uh, I've got a bunch of pennies to go through. So let me get through these, and I will let you know if I find anything good on any of them. There's plenty of stuff to look for. Um, plenty of, of varieties on the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, the 2006, 2007. All have double dies on the obverse, uh, so those will be fun to look at. I've been uh, trying to find stuff on there, but I have never found any of those. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be the first time for, for that. Um, but if not, I'll be right back and let you know what I find either way. So after all those 12 rolls, I have the one coin, one find here. Uh, not a bad coin to find, but, uh, not what I was expecting in those 12 rolls. But you never know what you're going to find in the rolls. And sometimes you're going to, um, not find hardly anything. I have about five or six over here that are in nicer shape than I'm going to check against the album but uh otherwise there's nothing else much going on with these rolls other than it was a bunch of circulated coins there were plenty of things to check for 
plenty of sub, uh, 72s and, and such with that have double dies and stuff all over them. Plenty of coins to check for, but there was nothing on any of them. So, uh, I don't, not sure if I'm going to make this into a video or not, just because of the lack of finds. I don't know if it'll be a fun video, but if you are watching, then I did decide to turn this into a video and post it. So, if you would, just let me know down below if you enjoyed this uh, type of video where I flew through a bunch of coins and didn't find anything. I mean, it's always fun to look through coins and hope you find something, but you're not always going to hit that awesome find. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll wrap it up here. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and uh, drop that comment down below and let me know what you thought. And uh, if you would watch more videos like this, um, I do want to make videos that are enjoyable and engageable. And uh, uh, if I'm not finding anything, I don't know if that's kind of a fun video to watch or not. All right. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support well i do hope you enjoyed the video if you click on that link right there it'll help me out and then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended so if you would like to watch another one i would definitely appreciate it Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.